Welcome back. Today is Wednesday, October 4th, and we have reading for today from Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, verses 46 through chapter 7, verse 1. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, but not do what I command? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, listens to my words, and acts on them. That one is like a person building a house who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When the flood came, the river burst against that house, but he but could not shake it because it had been well built. But the one who listens and does not act is like a person who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, it collapsed at once and was completely destroyed. When he had finished all his words to the people, he entered Capernaum. In today's Gospel, we encounter the powerful and thought-provoking words of our Lord Jesus Christ. He poses a question that demands our reflection and action. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I tell you? These words are a good reminder for all of us that mere lip service to the Lordship of Jesus Christ is insufficient. Profession, professing our faith without living it out through our actions is like building a house on a weak and unstable foundation. It may look impressive on the surface, but it is vulnerable to collapse when tested by the storms of, of life. Our Lord invites us to consider the foundation upon which we are building our lives. Are we following his teachings and commands? Or are we content with a superficial religiosity that lacks depth and, and uh, substance? As Byzantine Catholic Christianity uh, calls us to a profound and transformative faith, one that permits every aspect of our lives. It challenges us to build uh, our spiritual house on the rock-soiled foundation of Jesus' teachings. <laughs> But what does this mean in partic uh, particular terms? Firstly, it means embracing Jesus' message of love and compassion. We are called to love our neighbors as ourselves, to care for the poor and the needy, and to extend forgiveness to those who have wronged us. This is the cornerstone of our faith. It is through these acts of love that we demonstrate our obedience to Jesus Christ. Secondly, it means living a life of prayer and humility. Our faith is not a one-time profession, but a continual relationship with our Lord. Through our prayers, we uh, deepen our connection with God, seeking His guidance, strength, and forgiveness. Humility reminds us that we are entirely uh, reliant on God's, on God's grace. Thirdly, this means embracing the sacramental love, life of the Church. The Holy Mysteries especially the Eucharist and Confession, are essential for our spiritual growth. These sacraments strengthen us, cleanse us, and provide us with the sustenance that we need to live out our faith daily. 
In the Gospel passage, Jesus likens those who hear his words and act upon them to individuals who build their house on a rock. When the floods come and the winds blow, the house stands firm. Likewise, when we embrace Jesus' teachings and live them out, our lives are built upon a foundation that can uh, withstand the trials and tribulations of, of life. So, let us not merely call Jesus Lord, Lord with our lips, but let us demonstrate His Lordship through our actions. Let us build our lives on the firm foundation of faith, uh, love, prayer, and humility. In doing so, we become living uh, testi uh, testimonies of the, of the gospel, shining the light of Christ to this, to this world. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen us on, on this journey, and may our lives be a testament to his transformative power. I wish to everyone a wonderful day. May God bless you.